Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We, this set three is gonna go the distance, okay? Didn't know what to expect. It's gonna last several episodes, absolutely. But we're all here for it because we love Karasuno. We love a good volleyball match. We love the super long rallies where we can think, hear everything that everybody's thinking. We love great plays, teamwork. Yes. So, we're moving on. We learned a little bit about Mad Dog in the last episode. Not nearly as much as I wanted to learn, but we got a little teaser. Uh, we also saw Yahaba come out of nowhere. This guy hasn't really been in many episodes. And then he's like, laying down the law with Mad Dog about what it means to be a good teammate. Also, amazing. A um, little bit of back and forth. We saw why Oikawa is the great king. You hate to see it, but it's true. Dang it. But today, we are continuing on that set three journey here with season two, episode 24 of Haikyuu called The Absolute Limit Switch. That was a long title, had to double check it. Um, but before we do that, I got sent a little present from Shiori in Okinawa, Japan. And I'm so excited to show you um, because you guessed it, it's Haikyuu merch. So just wanna show you what she sent me. Okay, <clears throat> okay. If you follow me on Twitter or any of that, you saw some of the merch that I got sent at the Tokyo Olympics last year. I got this amazing puzzle that I put on a, a backing so I can keep it forever. Um, I got sent some um, spring festival keychains. I got sent a phone stand, um, some like drink swizzlers. I don't know if that's a word but it was great. Um, some Karasuno and Nakoma merch. So if you've been following me on Twitter, you saw the stuff I got at, at the Tokyo Olympics last year, but Shiori sent me some really cute, like multi-cases. It's a little bag with some stickers, multi-case. A Nakoma multi-case. I didn't even know what a multi-case was before, but I got that. I got this tote bag. Okay, and face towels. I am always sweating, working out, playing. We got Karasuno face towel. We got a Nakoma face towel. I am so excited about this, so I just wanted to share it with you. Shiori, you're the best. Thank you so much. All right, looking at my high Q merch again just got me extra pumped up. So without further ado, let's dive into episode 24. Oh yes, the play that almost went poorly. Whew, okay. <laughs> that was a great correction by Kageyama. He's very good too. Oh, 
Okay, we are starting with a bang. I am very curious to hear what you guys think about that, those statements that Oikawa made, because yes, I think that Kageyama did understand that he not have made an error in his like spacing and corrected it. So I'm not sure I would call him stupid. Yes, I do think that in the past that he was moving a little quicker than his teammates and he couldn't adjust, but he has made some huge improvements um, by learning from Suga, from Oikawa, and all that. So I'm not sure I agree with that, but I'd be curious what you have to say. Um, I also picked up on I, um, Iwazumi's little thing of like, oh, I'm glad you acknowledge that a player, a team with six players is better than a team with two. Um, little dig there maybe. Uh, I agree. Seijo is a strong team with six players. Um, but I don't, don't sleep on Karasuno, okay? All of their players have made improvements. Suki is a dark horse. He is so smart, great blocker. Uh, Noya, hello. Asahi, Daichi, Tana like, let's give credit where credit's due here. I'm sure, maybe I'm misreading this situation. You guys always call me out for that, but hit me up with what you think there. He thought it was a left hand. I mean, that was impressive. <laughs> Okay. That's right. Ooh, first of all, very impressive that Yahaba could come in off the bench and do a jump spin serve cold. Very good. Um, I love that this is like high level volleyball. Like you're seeing the team scoring, going for it, making great shots. Like we're really seeing that both teams are playing at a very high level. And also in the previous match or previous set, we saw that the teams adjusted their block defense to leave the line attack open for Hinata. And so like he had worked on seeing the block and hitting around the block, but now the defense had filled in. So he was getting dug on that before, but this time the block left the line open. He saw it, it open and that the defender was long and he made an adjustment. So we're seeing Hinata's evolution like in real time here. And the fact that he was able to do like a switch up and tip it, even though he saw the line open, oh boy, is getting better. I almost didn't breathe that whole time because I was too excited. Also, Mad Dog hitting with that left hand, I did not give that enough of attention. It was great. 
Oh wow, great dig. Oh. Get it up, high middle of the court. Wow. Oh wow, good pass. Okay. I have goosebumps. <sighs> Good movement. No. I did not expect that. Holy. Okay, use this. Ooh, combo play. Come on. Go. Dang, Iwazumi is in the zone. That's true. <laughs> that was a great serve, though, by Yamaguchi. Mm. I'm just gonna say I completely agree with Iwazumi when I was young and if you guys play volleyball out there you might relate or maybe you haven't gotten to this point yet but like getting a great attack was like the best feeling ever and it's like all anybody ever wanted to do it's all I wanted to do like let's practice hitting but now like as I get older I will say that the greatest feeling is getting a huge stuff block on somebody because it's like you read the play, you had great discipline, great hand position, you imposed your will on someone, but also getting a huge dig on somebody too is so amazing because it's like you are countering somebody like at their most powerful and to like have that finesse and that control that like to read the play, there's just like, it's a different kind of high, you know what I mean? Like having a powerful swing scoring like that it's one kind of feeling but like a good block or good dig is like another one so i feel that it really was he went in and did his job Nice dig. 
Uff. What? Wait, what? Don't, you don't have to move it too? The ball even had impact ripples on it when he hit it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this music is killing me. Come on. That is bold. That is courageous. I'm oh, from both sides. Who's serving? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I have so many goosebumps and I'm almost crying and I don't know what's gonna happen. <sighs> yeah, maybe Kageyama's gonna get a kill. Okay, mm -hmm. it's gonna be fine. I think it's perfect that all three third years are on the court right now. Mad dog's lurking. Okay. Great touch. Okay, okay, okay. Please be in. Is that in? Oh, Suki, come on. That was a great, like, reaction by Hinata. Oh God, I can't breathe. Okay. 
Go! Go, 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 Suga! Yes! They can still run a combo. Yes! <laughs> They're all smiling. Ooh, if that libero gets it up, I'm going to lose it. Oh, he's looking down at him. That's right! Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, that turned something on in Oikawa. Oh my gosh, okay. All of Oikawa's insecurities about being looked down on by older players, better players, just came out and I think he is about to go off. Okay, like... First of all, in my head, I was like, I bet Kageyama will dump, but I didn't say it, so you probably don't believe me that I was thinking that, but believe me, I was. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel sick. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little nauseous. Um, whew, okay. I wish I knew anything that was gonna happen. The only thing that I feel is gonna happen is like Kava's gonna go crazy and like win the game for Seijo, but I don't even wanna let that negativity enter my mind. So now I'm just, I, I don't know. I can't, whew. あ、あとは菅原が入ってくると何かやらかす転移症があるかな。ほんの少しでもそっちに意識がいっちゃうんだよな。そう。さすが追いかわの後輩だな。あの土壇場での強気もセッターの資質ってやつだな。確かに。分
中途半端やったら速攻叩かれるからなブロックとにかく頼むぞパース取り返すここ取るぞナイスタグ Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Umbrella. Okay, wow, um, that might have been the most I ever teared up. And I will say that that was the best rally I have seen in Haikyuu so far. It beats the Iron Wall, Asahi Swing, breaking through the Iron Wall from season one. It beats the Noya Foot Dig, like, that was, insane i don't know what to say that that set bought by oikawa was so bold it was so difficult <sighs> that play in its entirety like showed his desire to win, his grit, 
his skill because like they were just talking about how he's not as like innately talented as a lot of setters but he just brings like some other intangibles like that play even though Karasuno won that play even though you know Tanaka made a great save Daichi made a great dig Hinata made a great swing like I can't help but think that that play is about all about Oikawa and like the things that he has overcome as far as like not feeling good enough or not feeling like he measures up to the good players. Um, but it also like my heart is broken for him because like he was the one who shanked that last dig and so like even though he made a spectacular play to keep his team even in that rally like sacrifice the body fall into the like scores table like the fact that they were even able to get a swing out of that was insane let alone the fact that it crossed the entire court and got to Iwazumi but like I cannot help but like feel so crushed because like he shanked that last dig and yeah we all know he's not my favorite but I cannot help but have like mad respect um for that like I was my tears were about more than just Kirasuno winning it was like so much emotion wrapped up and like yeah wow Okay, a lot of you in the comments before this episode said that episode 24 was one of your favorites in the entire Haikyuu series. Some of you said it was one of your favorites in the season. Like, I understand why. That was incredible for so many reasons, um, which I obviously spoke to throughout the episode. Like. Wow, like, I, I would love to hear your thoughts, really. Um, I've said a lot, but I'm also kind of processing and that like final scene or image of Kageyama and Oikawa face to face through the net, like that's gonna stick with me, <laughs> really. It's so powerful. So hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. This one was truly an outstanding episode. Um, I'm going to watch episode 25 right now because I can't leave this. Um, so I would love it if you would like this video, if you would subscribe to my channel and yeah, no more words other than Shiori, you're the best. This Haikyuu merch makes me so happy, but you guys, you're wonderful and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks.